we are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and saving full time on our new home, Sisu. So this is the wharf marine, or oh, the wharf. And there is... That, that's just a regular helicopter. No, that's the president. Oh, that's the president's helicopter. Yeah, there's three families. Oh, there's three. And that's the one that they... So when there's three of them, then you must know that one of them has the jackpot in. You just don't know which one of the three. But anyway, we were told about all these restaurants along the wharf and it just carries on and on and on down here. Okay, so the Thomas Jefferson Memorial bit about all this construction work that's going on so you don't get the full picture but this is massive you see how tiny the people are the man of the moment Thomas Jefferson quite a big dude Frick is walking! And it's gonna be a long walk today. But I'm sure I can seduce him with a couple of beer spots on the way. Just to keep him motivated. And Frick is all dressed up on this walk. Because part of today's tour is gonna include the oldest pub in DC which apparently is very fancy fancy so we don't want to come in here looking like this and we still don't know whether we will be able to enter because I've got sandals and yeah. shorts and I've got sneakers because yeah. we're, we're doing a lot of walking today too much walking I just said I'm going to seduce you for the beer stops along the way just to keep your motivation you going. You don't get beer in the park. I mean, after only, the park. Only dead guys. Huge, huge giants. <laughs> like a big statue dude. Yeah. not a bad place. I think this was as local as they can be in DC. This is an old freaking What do you mean? Look at this. It's a very old building. <laughs> it's very settled in there. Separated yeah, it's a small building. This is very cool. And it was, it, the price was good, no? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to say. Believe it or not, this is a place. Believe it or not. 
Your new tube, smile. So in 2003, a Falcon 1 rocket just parked over here. You got it. Elon Musk decided to get some funding and he parked a Falcon 1 rocket right where that bus is now. <laughs> in front of the headquarters. The Aerospace Museum. The Aerospace Museum. <laughs> <laughs> One very, very tired captain. 220,000 miles. I think we've done about 20. <laughs> We've done about 20,000 steps. I'm super proud of him. <laughs> 20,000. We've had a good day walking. Only 20,000. Yeah, the decky is very excited and very happy. <laughs> You're gonna have a beer now around the corner there somewhere. We're gonna have a beer. Somewhere over there should be a beer. That's what you said all, that's what she said all the time. <laughs> <laughs> to have something nice now. I haven't been in one of these for a, a long time. How's that? Uh, we are in. Are we in the oldest one? The oldest cabin, old Ebert. But this is just a restaurant, we're going to go to the bar. Yeah. And we're leaving now Washington DC and of course the helicopters as well. It was very nice, a lot of walking, <laughs> be prepared for a lot of walking and we're now on the way back, so Hurricane Ian is coming up the coast, it, I think it's already at Florida, Tampa and we're going to go down the Potomac and see where we can find a nice hiding spot because we want to be ready the moment the wind stops to shoot around Hatteras. Um, so we want to be in the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. We have our Genoa up. It helps a little bit. And we're going through here, the Potomac. Okay, we anchored here for tonight here at Pope's Creek. That is Captain Billy's restaurant over there. I don't think we'll go out tonight. It's, it is very cold. But the sunset going to be good and we are here in about three meters of water somewhere there is a wreck so we don't want to get too close to the wreck we don't want to join them um, but I think here's a power station as well and a very big bridge so we are and and we have to come quite close because right in front of us is a lot of lobster pots Very noisy and a very bumpy, rolly, shaky anchorage here in the Potomac. We, we thought we are a little bit protected, but I think what happened is the shallow waters just lift the, the swells, certain swells up. So all those little swells, they've been stopped, but the big ones, I don't know, some swells is coming through. And then the current wants to push us this way, the wind wants to push us this way. So we go this way, then we do this, and then sometimes it's too strong, the current, and then we do slamming at the back. Ugh. It was horrible. We are still here in the Potomac, but man, we didn't know 
it's getting less ugly here the wind is around yeah the difference between 20 knots 20 knots and 15 yeah say 15 and above all the time but the sea is really really nasty and we are managing to sail so we've got the Genoa up and no engines that is amazing it's not every day that we we can sail here in a Chesapeake Bay beautiful day it started very grim and I think it will end maybe with the rain but for now it's good and it's rain tonight. yeah I think so and I didn't bring my family <laughs> so let's go look for a beer yep we worked hard today yeah Peter these, cleaned the whole boat these jetties are really under No, the water level is definitely up. Definitely up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, these ones are under. Yeah. Ah. And we climbed up quite high on this ones here, so... Is this also... Yeah, so we're going to have a surprise <laughs> for tonight. when we get back. Ah, there was a yeah, warning water. issued of flooding. Yeah, this yeah. was... This was much higher than... Oh my goodness! I told you so. I told you so. Huh. I looked. At, I didn't look at, on the land. I looked on the on the jetties. Like yeah. Yeah, this is definitely about a meter higher. And looks like up here, place is closed. Yeah, why is this place looking closed? Yeah, yesterday we had to climb up this ladder. Now we can step off. And now it's like you step down almost, don't yeah. even step off. Mm -hmm. And there was jetties here too, and they all under the water. <laughs> oh. So storm surge is a real thing. We are experiencing storm surge. Ha! And that also means your scope has to be big enough. <laughs> no, the anchor scope, because yeah. if your anchor scope that not cater for this additional meter, you will start dragging. Ha! But we are, we are quite good. Okay, a little town called Reedsville. It looks very quiet, very pretty. So we are, we just left, oh, we're actually busy leaving Reedsville and the sun is about to come up but there's no wind was predicted that in the morning it will be no wind and this is the big fishery that everyone's complaining about but because the wind was blowing that side and we were anchored from that side we didn't smell anything in fact there's so so little wind now we also don't smell it now but it was nice so that is where we're going and there's also a lot of these like fishing poles. I think it's it's like almost like a fish farm, 
but they have nets in between, so I don't think they farm fish, I think they catch in fish or crabs. But you have to be careful, that's why we're leaving at daybreak so we can see them. Some of them show up on the radar, but most of them you cannot see them. I found now <coughs> the fort, and for now, I'm just going to say Oturu to here, so it will be close enough. So go there. Oh man. And more options Oturu to here. Then it will start calculating the route. And I will later on just go and refine it because it sometimes it will go underneath a bridge that you cannot go through or go over some shallow areas even though that you told him it, like a certain depth that we said two meter minimum but sometimes two meters is just not enough but if you don't say two meters it never finish okay so it's now finished and I just will say follow it and let's go center the boat. So now I can see it will, it will go. It's fine here. But you see over here, we need to make sure that everything is done well. Tuk, 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 tuk. So I just go through the whole route. Okay, looks like everything is A okay. And that's it. So verify your route, make sure that you're happy with the outer router, what he did, and don't just assume. Just need to get out of the way of, of the red buoy. <laughs> We're going to crash into it. The front is on its way. The cloud is still not super happy. So we need, and that is where the wind starts. So we. Either we can motor all the way or we can wait for that thing to catch up and then we will be able to sail. You can see all around this. There was a hurricane in the air. It's now only a storm, a big storm. And the whole system is now moving out to the ocean. We are still on motor, on engine. And you can see this sail we have three knots of apparent wind. Still no wind. Okay, we arrived here in that is Hampton over there, and that side is Norfolk. And we at anchor is in the wind. Wind is around about 26 knots here and I say it's going to be more lighter, lighter tonight, maybe it's like 24 or something like that. We are swinging quite a lot at this moment. So we wake up this morning and we've got on the clock for the last hour 30 knots. So that was quite, maybe we can make it longer but this is how it looks outside. Gloomy. But listen to the, the sound of the wind. As you can see, we are still dressed to the tea. It is freaking cold. And there's people standing, fishing inside the water. So today's dinghy dock looks a little bit better. We have this nice dinghy dock and <laughs> a couple of birds watching us carefully and Tipex and we have to lock it, lock her so hopefully she will be still here when we're back because there's not many people that can keep an eye at this place. Maybe there is, there are people that's <laughs> watching us for us to leave. But looks like a good dinghy dock. 
Awesome. Milton, Virginia Parks and Recreation. Quite a nice. We have lots of Kekwarankis. Such a nice Diablo Loco Cantina Tequila Bar. And we have voodoo going on over here. Oh. For me, it was not sorry they closed, it is luckily they closed, otherwise we could have been voodooed. So we're here in Hampton and it's, it's a, <laughs> a coastal flooding going on and we did LPG, propane, propane, some provisions and it is damn cold. But you can see the flat lines, there is definitely a bigger flood than expected. The grass lawns, the jetty, some of the jetties is underwater already. And if it was not floating docks, it would have been underwater as well. So this is what it is in a storm. Look at the clouds. So it's very wet, very cold and we managed to get our provisions and one of the provisions that we needed even though it's so cold was our propane or LPG it's not just propane, it's a mixture of propane and butane depends on the country or the region of the country and one of the things is we have this metric system so everything is metric here it's seven kilograms of gas and this is a metric um, like a fitting or whatever so this is all metric the rest of the world is metric except the United Nations oh. United States <laughs> except the United States so they have this funny gadget so I put a metric thing in here that has a metric to US conversion so I can do I can just put it up here and that will convert a metric to US I think the America gas felt fitting but even with that this is 7 kgs uh, kilograms, seven kilograms of gas, and they are working in gallons. So, how do you convert gallons to kilograms? <laughs> well, that's a video for another episode. It's still pretty gloomy out here, and the wind every now and then goes quite crazy. So we, we are now in that huge front that's coming past and it is cold, it is super, super cold. It's time for us to get to the Bahamas.